Right, hey guys, it's me, Cameron here, and uh, before we get into today's video, I'm just going to say, it won't be a double upload, don't mind, it's Thursday, it's only supposed to be one video, so basically, what is today's video? As you can see, it's Team of the Week 31, is out, see, T-O-T-O-T-W 31, which means Team of the Week 31, so, um, let's get, um, Started with subs. I mean, see, I've done the team of week 30, 30 video pretty late, and um, so yeah, so um, let's just get into the subs. Um, and the subs we got Haradaki, Horsori, Mika, Balassi, Mina, Mbolo, and Luis Adriano. And now, most of the time, the subs. We've got a few subs that have weird names that I can't really pronounce, like Horodeki, Horsori, and yeah, that's it today. And um, so let's get in the starting 11. So, goalkeeper, we have Sami Handanovic, and his stats are as followed 89 diving, 88 reflexes. 85 handling, 58 speed, 65 kicking, and 87 positioning. Good stats in there. 89 diving, 88 reflection, 85 handling, and 87 positioning. Would I buy him? Yet again, like him the other team of the week, team of the week video. I think yesterday or day before. Um, this is quite high. An 80s is quite high, I mean you'd be expecting a low 70s for a goalkeeper, or you'll be getting expecting a high. Um otherwise you'd get expecting a low 70s silver in form. So yes I would buy him. And now moving on to the three defenders this week we have First one we have left back Oscar Wendut. Um his stats are as follows: well, 76 pace, 75 dribbling, 64 shooting, 77 defending, 76 passing, 75 physical, and yeah, that's it. Good stats in there. 76 pace, 77 defending, and 76 passing. What I buy him out of these three fenders? Let me just a quick look. No, I wouldn't. I buy the other two defenders. So apart from that, that's the Oscar Wender gone. And um, next defender we have right back Danilo Luis da Silva, known as Danilo. Um, his stats are as followed, we got 84 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 shooting, 85 defending, 81 passing, and 83 physical. <sighs> Good stats in there, 84 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 shooting. I mean all of his stats are in there are good, they're all 80. But the main three stats I'd say are good are 84 pace. 85 defending and 83 physical. Would I buy him? Yes, like I just said, I buy this one and the other right back. Aurea, I think. No. So, um, yeah, anyway, that leaves Danilo out and let's move on to the next player. <sighs> For the next player, we have Francois Clerk and he's a right back. Stats in there, we have 72 pace, 69 dribbling, 50 shooting, 79 defending, 72 passing, and 81 physical. Good stats in there, 81 physical, would I buy him? Yeah, good, I want to buy that left back and the uh, cutting, no, wind up. So, um, yeah, that leads uh, all the defenders, now it move on to um <laughs> the midfielders let me just have a quick little room for one I probably wouldn't buy oh 
our purpose sign if we're willing to find something to buy. <laughs> so first player out of the midfielders, we have left mid Ashley Young. Stats are as follows, we have 88 pace, 87 dribbling, 77 shooting, 38 defending, 80 passing and 58 physical. Good stats in there, 88 pace, 87 dribbling and 80 passing. Would I buy him? Yes. Yes, I would indeed. I mean, he's one of the three out of four players in the midfield we have chosen because we have to leave one out. So, um, yep, Ashley Young is in my favourite club. He's in, he's in English as well. Of course, why don't you buy him? Right, moving on to the next player, we have Hakan Kalhan Uglu. Um, he's centre attacking mid, his stats are as follows. We have 76 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 shooting, 38 defending, 81 passing, and 58 physical. Good stats in there, 80 dribbling, 80 shooting, and 81 passing. Would I buy him? Yes. Yes, indeed, and as you can see there, you can see the obvious one, that is the obviously, the obvious, obvious uh, midfielder I'm not going to pick, and he is coming up right now, go buy him if you've got the money. And next up we have Roman Shorokov, he's a centre mid, and his stats are as follows, he has 69 pace, 76 dribbling, 81 shooting, 71 defending, 84 passing, and 73 physical. Good stats in there, 81 shooting, and 84 passing. Would I buy him? No, because he's my one defender, but I wouldn't buy out of those four. Four defenders, I mean, one midfielder, I wouldn't buy out of those four midfielders. So um, yeah, and that seems done. 39 chemistry rainforests are starting this week and it's 8 rating. Um, next player we have right mid, Jose Calijon. Um, he, he and his stats are as followed. He has 91, or oh, may I repeat, 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting. 31 defending, 77 passing, and 67 physical. If you are just before you are, just before we put it in the comments, why do you repeat, repeat 90s all the time? 90, 90 plus is such a good stat, it is unreal. So if he has 91 defending, that is so good, but he has 91 pace. Um, good stat, stats in there, 91, may I repeat, 91 pace. 86 dribbling and 85 shooting. And that leaves Jose Cajon out of it. Now I'm just going to have a quick look at the forwards, which one would I buy? I think it's pretty obvious anyway. <gasps> well, as I've seen, there's only. 190 stat this week, this week in a team of a week. EA, what are you doing? I mean, where's his 90 stat? You expect the highest rated player in the team of a week to have at least one 90 stat? And it's probably low, one of the lowest ones as well. Right, so the forwards, first board we have is striker Christian Ben Teke. So his stats are as followed, he has 82 pace, 79 dribbling, 87 shooting, 37 defending, 68 passing of 90, may I repeat, 90 physical, you didn't see that 90 physical in there, um, good stats in there, 82 pace, 87 shooting, 90, may I repeat, 90 physical, and that leaves Christian Benteke, I mean, just have a look at the park. 
and um, next player, of really best player to last, we have German Dennis, and his stats are as followed: we have 67 pace, 73 dribbling, 85 shooting, 33 defending, 60 passing, and 75 physical. Good stats in there. 85 shooting, and that is it. Would I buy him? No. Would I buy Christian Benteke? Yes, I would. Because it's this one who's not, we're not buying. So I'm just going to do some well tired today. Just only had four hours sleep, just to let you know. And, um, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't buy him. And ladies and gentlemen, the EA bomb of this team of the week is Robert. Is Robert Lee Wan Do Robert Lee Wan Dosky, and I'm pretty ashamed of this bomb because he does not have one ninety stat in there. But he has four star weak foot, four star skill moves. He has a high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, and I reckon definitely quite a lot. And his stats were as follows, we have 82 paint, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting, 41 defending, 76 passing, and 81 physical. Good stats in there, we have 82 paint, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting, and 81 physical. Would I buy him? Of course. Of course, he was the first player I'd buy. If I had... 10 million to spend on this team of the week. 10 million to spend. And um, when I'm older and have a bit of money, I'll probably be buying packs every week, buying coins, FIFA points, and all that. And then we'll be buying good players like Robert Dean Mandowski. But anyway, that includes today's episode here on this video. Here, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, there, prob there might be another video later, but there probably won't. So, um, yeah, so all you just got hope that there's another video later. But apart from that, this includes today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you want to join all my videos and all my series and all that, please hit that subscribe button. And apart from that, peace out and see you in my next video.